Good morning, everybody. Um, <clears throat> thank you for inviting me. Uh, as mentioned, I came from the Directorate General for European Programs, Coordination and Development. And my name is Savas Netos. Yesterday, my director made this presentation. So I think we're gonna get started. The um, National Open Access Policy, uh, it's a paper that we drafted in still a draft version of the policy. Um, and it has this um, content. It's uh, the introduction, the current European framework for open access, the definitions, the aim of the open access policy and its benefit, provision for implementation for open access policy, the tools and the support. So um, for the introduction, uh, we based this paper on the UNESCO and Met Open Access Net Guidelines, the recall recommendation, and operating practices. Um, it was done, as mentioned before, with the um, help of the National Documentation Center of Greece and the Pasteur. Okay, the current European framework was already mentioned, so I'm gonna be brief. Um, the European Commission supports the open access as the established way of diffusion of publicly funded research in the European Union. It has a recommendation for it, and uh, it is mandatory for all publications resulting from project funded by the Horizon 2020. Definitions, what is open access? It's a free, direct, cost and free of fees and most of the copyright restrictions on online access to digital academic and scientific content. Readers can use freely the available material for research, education, and other purposes. Okay, open access is based on two models. The Green Route, which is a um, publication scientific journal with parallel filing of the final quality assured version of an open access repository with the article being accessible by all interested persons, potentially after an embargo period if required, and the gold route, where publication in open access journals through which the final quality assured version is immediately available free of charge. The, ver the relevant cost is covered through author publication charges per article. Of the two routes, we, uh, we will follow probably the green route, uh, and uh, through a, a repository. Gold route is a little bit expensive for us right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna say numbers, but we talk millions. Uh, so we, we're gonna probably do the green route. The aim. The aim of the policy is to align the, with the EU, EU policies and existing pair practices, thus participating in a meaningful way in the research and academic ecosystem under development where access to research should be direct and open. Benefits, it is recognized that knowledge is a public good generated social and economic benefits at national, European, and international level. What are the objec objectives of the policy? It's collection, preservation, and dissemin the dissemination of the publicly funded research, possibility of indexing and tracking scientific work, provision of data and indicators on research development, facilitation of the internal and external evaluation of institutions and the dissemination of scientific pro production, possibilities of recognition and utilization of scientific works, and promoting the international cooperation. Okay, what are the provisions for implementation. The researchers submit to a repository the necessary metadata, for example, title, abstract, author, author's title, name of the journal that has accepted publication, and a digital copy of their publications define a quality assured version. Articles are allowed to be closed until the end of the backup period imposed by the publishers. Um, I'm gonna say for here, we will not follow the six month and 12 month of the Horizon 2020. We're gonna leave it open until the barcode period of the, of the publisher for now. We will not be 
as strict as Horizon with two color. <laughs> we have our reasons for that. <laughs> Researchers are encouraged, encouraged, not obliged to submit to a repository their data sets that support their publications. Researchers are encouraged to make use of the Creative Commons licenses. Researchers are encouraged not to transfer exclusive rights to publishers, but only the rights necessary for each publication. Researchers are also encouraged to file in a repository previous work as well. The implemented tools is, of course, a repository. Uh, creation and implementation of appropriate rules and internal procedure for the implementation of the open access policy by research organizations and academic institutions. Um, what we mean is that we're going to do the overall policy and the academic institutions will have their own policies based on the national one. There, have to be, there has to be a training on researchers uh, on repository, open access and copyrights, and negotiating with publishers and other issues. Last, a monitoring mechanism should be implemented so as we can follow um, the strategy. And the strategy will be promoted by the organization of seminars, events, and other activities to raise awareness and of course other action for education training on issues of open access. As I said before, we will establish a monitoring mechanism for the implementation of the policy. Uh, as I said before, this is a draft paper. We already sent it to the libraries. I think all the libraries of the universities have it. So uh, if you want to have the paper, you can either contact me or your librarian um, to provide you the paper. We will have a public dialogue um, starting today, tomorrow. Probably we're going to post it, the strategy to our website. So we would like to all, all of you to, have, um, to send us your feedback to finalize this strategy. Thank you very much.